Hello. I'm going to talk to you about the Bannum M2002 deadlock. We sell them on our website. It's a really, really good lock. Um, I've been fitting locks, lots of deadlocks as well since at least 1980. Some, possibly some before that. Um, and these Bannum ones surpass any of the normal deadlocks I've ever fitted. Um, they're British standards approved. There's a kite mark there. This is all approved. So it should cover any insurance company. It's an expensive one, but you get what you pay for. It's ten times better than any other deadlock in my mind. Um, so I'll start with a key. You get two keys with it. If you need more, you have to go to Bannum for them. We can't. We're not allowed to do them yet. Um, and they're, they're drilled. So any any dodgy little, you know, unscrupulous lock key cutter won't be able to do them. You get this key card with them with a key number on it. You have to take that to Bannum. You got to register with them first. You get a registration form. So you register that with Bannum. So you can get extra keys cut. Now the lock body. has a hook that comes out and that hook is hard and steel and it's laminated and it resists sawing so it was so I'll, I'll try and let me just put it in so I can show you it show you it coming out this is the fiddly bit you have to to fit these in it's a it's not easy you've got to make sure the cams downwards this little cam here has to be down and that solid part there has to face towards towards the front plate when you put it in so you put it in like that and then turn it till it sort of sits get your key obviously throw the deadlock and you always have to turn it a little bit more. It's a, they're a little bit stiff at the end, but they, they wear in time. But that's just to make sure you've, you know, put it done it properly. Just give it an extra little turn. And as you can see, that bolt is very, very, very strong. Turn it out again. There's a little locating, some little locating lugs there. That, let me just see them in this light. One there, one the other side. Let's sit into the into the and that's that. And the lock guards. These go either side of the lock once it's fitted inside the door. Like that it sandwiches it in the door. So all that timber you've taken out for this, these actually bolt right through the door, each side of the door, sandwiches the lock inside. So all the timber you've taken out these help prevent the door from splitting they're a really good addition they come with it as well and a keep this lock keep that goes in the frame it's like double the size of any normal British standard lock keep I think the normal chub is about that big so you see it's much much bigger much much stronger because it's got like six keys six screws holding it in as well so they'll have a job splitting the frame with this on 250 mil long by the way that one it's quite good i said about the barrel barrel six pin anti-drill cylinder and it's really hard to snap because they've, they're screwed in from the back with some little screws that come with it and all the fixing screws come with it two little locating screws go right through the lock and bolt it on now that's that's the lock i'll try and do a a, a zoomed in version of fitting the barrel to the um case later because that's quite hard i'll do that as a separate video so could you hit Hit my like button please and leave any um, more questions or any other locks you want to hear about and I'll try and help you with them. Um, and you can subscribe to me on YouTube as well and I'll be adding more and more lock videos as I go on. Thanks a lot and don't forget we're lockmonster.co.uk. Thanks.